Hey, it's Justin here. Uh, so the winter just hit and our faucet kind of has an issue. So now when I turn it on, as you can see this, but we got water coming out from behind the siding. So I got to get this fixed. I called the insurance company to say they don't cover it. So I got to fix this. So first thing I'm going to do here is cut the inside of the wall and make sure I know what I'm dealing with before I try to remove any siding. Okay, so here's the inside wall where the faucet is. So I've measured the exterior from the window. So now I can kind of get an idea where it sits. All right, so this is basically where the, the actual faucet is. So I'm gonna cut a hole here and see if I can see what's going on here. All right, let's cut a hole. I'm gonna cut a hole in the wall. Yeah! Can we hire somebody who can yeah. it? We could. Embarrassing. <laughs> Learning here, girl. Learning. Are we gonna have a hire somebody? In the end, maybe. But right now, <laughs> we're gonna try ourselves. See what happens. <laughs> you excited? Yeah! Alright. I'm gonna get the yellow pages. Okay, go get the yellow pages. Get them ready. I just used a regular utility knife to cut into the wall. I did this just so I don't go too deep and that way I can avoid cutting any electrical lines or the water line. Okay, this is kind of hard to see, but they attached this little faucet here to a stud. And then it looks like our valve just screws right in. So I can turn off the water and unscrew that valve, it looks like, without damaging anything. So let's give it a try. There's the train. <laughs> okay, so I've turned off the water main in the front of the house. So you can usually find the water main connected to, um, there'll be a box in the ground in front of the house. So the, the water meter will be there. You can turn it off there, or it'll be another one. Sometimes in the garage, in my case, it was just in front of my house and I have already released the faucets, kind of relieved the pressure. I've turned off my water heater just in case, for some reason, water heater starts to drain. I don't want it to um, make the elements crack. So now all I gotta do is twist this. Uh, my wife's gonna be inside and making sure that the parts connected to the two by four doesn't twist off. And we're gonna twist this and pull it out by going counterclockwise. Okay, I got it. Can you can let go. Hi. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Okay, so here's our culprit. So you can see the po the faucet is cracked right here. I don't know if you get a good view of that. Let me see, let me see. You want to see? Okay, I'll show you in one second. I'm just showing the camera. So there's a crack right there. So that's where our pipe busted in the freeze. So I went to Home Depot and I picked up this new Integral Vacuum Breaker 4-inch hydrant. So this is a 4-inch. So this is the shortest one they had, which is a lot longer than the one I currently have. So I've come up with a plan. I'm going to use this one and then I'm going to build out a block. And I'm going to put this over it so that we're not running into it. And then I can wrap my hose around it. And then I'll put a block of wood around this and put in some insulation so that it doesn't freeze in there next winter. Let's see how this works. So I'm going to put a little Teflon on here. I don't see any leaks. The new insulation filled up. So we should be good to go. All right, very cool.
So now I can put this back together. Alrighty, now we have to figure out how to attach this hose contraption to our wall. So my husband came up with the idea to use the hose contraption as a, I don't know, template to put on some wood so it could sit flush against our siding and then we could use insulation and then that would make it weather resistant. So here we are trying to figure all that nonsense out. So you went ahead. Well, I tried to make the uh, siding flush, so I cut a piece and angled it. I, I even sanded side? it down. No, uh, just a piece of pine. Oh. And then I sanded it down so that it was, I, I don't know the degree of angle, but I made it match so that the next part could sit flush and square against the wall. So. You just eyeballed it? Yeah, I eventually um, eyeballed it, yes, <laughs> which worked really well. So. It fit really, really well. And anything that doesn't fit really well was filled in with insulation foam. Yes, and the insulation foam is awesome. It it lasts forever, but is it sticky? It's very sticky. You don't want it on your hands. It will also last forever on your hands. Why are you hiding your hands right now? Because it has insulation foam sticky stuff on but it. But it's been four days. It's yeah. It's oh. it's on there forever. So oh. be careful. You might want to wear gloves. That'll <laughs> keep it off your hands because yeah. that stuff is follow is, the directions. Yes. Friends. Yes. So you're using drywall screws and screwing right into the plywood, which is usually right behind the siding. And now we've made a little shelf, and it's just gonna sit right on top there. Yep. Ah, amazing. And now we can wrap the garden hose around that and it'll work fantastic and we're not going to bump who's into that. Who's ready for the foam? Who's ready for the foam? Oh, here it comes. So this is going to fill all the cracks and it's going to also... Watch out, Izzy. <laughs> it's, filling, it's filling the cracks. Okay, we're good. We're good. Oh it gets my gosh. everywhere. Yeah, so be careful with it. So now you're making a little extender for the house so that it can cover those extra inches of pipe behind yeah. the faucet. Is that, I wanted to make sure that there was something solid there, so if we hit the pipe, it's not pushing on the pipe in the wall. Well, that's a lot of insulation. That is a lot of insulation. I want to make sure that it's solid. That was gooey. And it is very gooey. And you can see I, I put on gloves now. I do use my hammer and block. I just realized that. That's how we do it. That's the block I had available at the time. Mm -hmm. So it worked. <laughs> All right, so we've got the faucet put in place put a block in here so it's stable and we've got this hose holder attached to the wall and I've made some paint for it so pretty cool now I just got to fix the drywall on the inside and we're good to go first and slide it in just like that okay and we'll take our drywall patch and run it right on oh no 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 how am I gonna make that look pretty huh how am I gonna make that look pretty? Oh, give me a second. Are you sure? Yeah. Hey, it looks a little unpretty. <laughs> it's gonna be just fine, trust me. Okay. Is this like the patch in the bathroom in oh. our first house? On oh, the ceiling no, this is better bathroom? than that. Okay. This is way better than that. That was that was embarrassing. Yeah, it was awkward. Are you talking about the ceiling or like uh -huh, in the, the wall? The ceiling when we put the fan in the bathroom and we tried like the tape that's supposed to patch holes and the all, everything they sold at Walmart that's supposed to patch holes and it didn't. <laughs> <laughs> it was terrible. Yeah, wait, I had some trouble on that and that's that for sure. It was a mean project. You were up there working with your hands way above your head for so long. Yeah, it was tiring. Okay, so now what I need is a wet towel. Paper towel? Paper towel. Nice. Well, you can use a towel. You're dripping it on the wall and oh. making a massive mess. Yep. Mmm. I am a mm. mess maker. Mmm. I can't get behind this. This is, this is disturbing. All right. I'm pretty sure we should have just let the spigot stay broken. But then we couldn't have used it. But our wall would be so tidy. <laughs> So a little bit of sanding on it and some paint and it's good as new. Nice. Boom, boom. Boom. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video and have yourself a blessed day. Bye guys. Bye bye.